Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about the library. For many of you, I know that that's your very favorite place in the world, and it certainly is mine. Can you remember the first time that you, your parents took you to the library, or a sibling, or someone took you to the library? I remember my first time at the library. I was probably pretty close to five years old. I was just about ready to begin school. And I remember walking in and just being overwhelmed by all of the books and just being surrounded by books. And I loved books. I remember, too, <clears throat> that the librarian uh, was reading the book Curious George, and it became, and it still is, one of my very, very favorite books. And it became one of the best places for me as a child. In fact, it became a place of refuge. I went down there oftentimes with my siblings, but if my siblings didn't want to go, then I walked the 15-minute journey down to the library throughout my entire childhood and into my adulthood. I wanted the library to be one of my ch children's favorite places to go. So let me give you some ideas on different things about the library and about your kids and when to take them. First of all, you can take a babe in arms to the library if you want to um, get them started going to the library. But when they really are ready to go to the library, it's usually about 18 months of age. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's way too young. But what you're doing is you're just trying to get them used to going to the library. Maybe they'll run around and maybe they'll knock books off the shelf. But you can slowly teach them that this is a place that you're surrounded by books and there's this wonderful, amazing smell in all libraries. It's just like the books are talking to you. So you can take the books off the shelf, you can go into one of the corners and you can read to your child over there. By the time they're two years old, um, they, they will understand about story time, that they sit there quietly, they listen to the story, and then you can also teach them how you go about uh, checking out books from the library and finding wonderful books there, more so than you even have at your house. So another thing is you want to make certain uh, talk to the library and find out exactly when you can get a library card for your children. And as soon as they're able, get that library card for them so that they have a, f a feeling of ownership and that they know the power of that card, that they can now go and they can check out books and they can be responsible in bringing those books back. Another thing that you want to take advantage of, of course, is story time. Each week when they have story time, find out when it is. That may be the perfect time for you to take your child um, to the library to check out books as well, to go to story time and then to check the books out afterwards. Now, in terms of books, this is going to seem like an awful lot of books, but what you want to do is first of all decide, okay, am I going to take my children to the library once a week or once every two weeks? You shouldn't go any longer than that. If you take your children to the library each time, check out between 70 and 80 books. Now, I know that seems like a horrible amount of books, but if you're reading a book to them between 5 and 10 books a day, 70 books is only going to last you one week. If you go to the library once every two weeks, then you can read all of those books twice. Or if you read uh, uh, five books a day, then you're going to be reading 35 books a week. Now, if you feel a little embarrassed to be hauling out 80 books from the library, just can keep in mind that they have millions of books in a library. And get to know the librarian. Get to know there's both male and female librarians and tell them that you're an avid reader to your children, that you read to them between five and 10 books a day. And that's why you check out between 70 and 80 books a week. And what we did is we had two stacks. We went to the library each week. We checked out our 70 to 80 books. And then the kids chose which ones were their very favorites and they wanted us to renew. So we had that particular stack. Then we had the other stack that we took back. So develop that whole thing, that whole tradition of going to the library each and every week or at, each, um, at least once every two weeks. Libraries are becoming places not only just to check out books and just to have story time. They also have, they offer speakers, and they usually offer speaker series. They want to have you to understand that there's a sense of community. Oftentimes they'll have art exhibits and oftentimes they'll have movie nights for families and all different types of activities. I've written an entire blog about that, Joke All You Want, but the library really is the best place for kids.
It also teaches them about responsibility and about taking care of things because when you check out these books, you have to take them home and yes, you want them to enjoy them, you want them to devour the books, but you also want them to take care of them and to treat them well so that you have the responsibility of taking them back on time and taking them back in the same condition that you borrowed them. If accidents happen and if something happens, a page gets ripped or torn or something spills on it, then show them the responsibility of being honest and taking it back to the library and offering to pay for it or offering to have it fixed or offering to do something that will speak volumes to your child that you are honest and you want to return things the same way you got them. But you can form the most amazing relationship between your child and the library. It saddens me about ebooks. I know that they're all out everywhere, but there's something about picking up a book and putting it up to your nose and smelling that book because every book has a smell to it. Being able to hold it, being able to touch it, being able to mark in it different passages, different things that you want to remember. So go to the library, have them get those three-dimensional books and to fall in love with them. And then create another little space, another little corner in your house where that you and your child can go that has big pillows and lots of comfy um, chairs and so forth where you can go and you can read all of those amazing books. Let me leave you with this quote by Rita Mae Brown. When I got my library card, that's when my life began. And I can tell you and I can attest to you, that's when my life began too, when I had that little library card. It meant the world to me. Thank you for, for being here. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.